Cause I don't I don't know who the fuck raised homeboy, but what I what I what I do know is in life you elevate. You in life you elevate, right? In life you elevate. So the same nigga I was, I'm not no more. I don't apply or live by the street code or street rules for one. For two, right there, you sound like a clown. Shut I'm not. Up, I'm not. Ahead. I'm not finished. Come I'm not on, finished. My name ain't on nobody's. My name ain't on nobody's paperwork. Right. That's for one. My name ain't on nobody's paperwork. In any case, I got one conviction for one of the murders, and that was broken down to assault. Why? Because my co-defendant beat trial. We had a separate trial. He beat it. So when it was time for me to go to go to trial. The case was weak. I had bodies and attempted murders, but nevertheless. If you gonna play by the street rules, come with paperwork and shut the fuck up. Oh. Don't sit up there and create shit on a nigga. If you if you do not have shit, to, let, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell I'm you not something. Done. I'm listen, not listen, mute the nigga. I'm it, 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 it. Spade, homie. Mute the corny nigga real quick. Cause I ain't got all day. Yo, homie, corny. Hold on, don't, 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 don't do it to yourself because you're a third, homie. Eddie, 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 chill. This is this ain't Instagram. Let that man talk. Please. Just fuck wrong with this nigga. Like, first and foremost, yeah. like, for one, a bird, a bird, whatever you want to call me. See, you got to realize something. I'm the topic of choice in your motherfucking house. I don't know you, nigga. I'm never going to talk about you. Never going to talk about you. A bird, I would never be a motherfucking bird. I got a mortgage. I got bills. I'm a fucking boss. I feed families and take care of families. That's what's wrong with you, niggas, with that stupid-ass street mentality. That's why you ain't going to never make it nowhere. Because y'all niggas is still caught up on a street mentality instead of a corporate mentality to raise to raise and elevate black people. Don't nobody give a fuck about you talking about me disrespecting niggas that's disrespecting the village. Nothing comes above the village, and that's what the fucking problem is. Because if you niggas, ain't if you niggas, you I'm, shut not up. Done. I'm not done. Yo, yo, well, Liddy, talk, talk, talk professional. If you're going to talk, talk professional. We ain't in you the street right now. now. Don't nobody want to hear this nigga fucking voice? <laughs> that's the problem with that. That's the problem with niggas. You sitting up there, you talking about a nigga that you clout chasing. I don't know chasing. you. I, I don't know let you. Me, let me, I let don't me. know you. Talk about no, I sound clout like a fucking chasing. snitch. You don't that's see me snitching on nobody. You, yo, you, yo, you was a bona fide Listen, back, homie. You talking while I'm talking. Shut the fuck up. You shut the, yo, shut let the pop fuck out up. On you. Pop out. Yo, come That's on, man. This ain't, this, ain't, this ain't about pop out. If y'all gonna talk, on, we bro. talk and get it over. You, you say it. what you, you say what you gotta say. China, I can't even like... talk to you. I don't want to talk to that bum ass nigga. I bro. can't even talk to grown men. I, yo, like first and foremost, you see this is this is the you hear me? He's he fucking up your conscience. You, you gotta mute. You gotta mute his mic. He talks that game. Nobody, when this is playback, nobody wants to hear. See what I'm saying? This is what I talk about, China. Niggas talk gangster shit. And talk about this key shit, but meanwhile be sitting now on some dry snitching shit. But, you understand what I'm saying? You fucking rap. All right, all right. Listen, you ain't explain explaining it professionally. You gotta explain what's the reason. What make him a dry snitch? Homie, let me tell you something. Like I say, when you live by a code of ethics in the street, that shit always with you, man. You don't sit here and talk about shit. But he's not in the street, Liddy. He's not in the street. He's not in the street. That shit right now, that shit don't hold no weight, my nigga. Just because you got a nine to five, shit don't hold no weight. It does, though. It really does. It does. That shit don't hold no weight. Okay. China. China. You got to keep your listen, China. You got to stay out of dirty section. You got to stay out of the dirty section of YouTube. That's the dirty section of YouTube, nigga. Listen to his mentality. That's what you think. Listen to his Like, 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 China, mute the nigga so I can talk. All right, let him talk. talk All right, let nigga. him talk for a minute. Because the whole thing is like this, right? First and foremost, for one, who the fuck talking about the streets outside of elevating the streets? For one. For two, let me explain something to you, right? If all the ignorant niggas that's destroying, like the nigga that just shot the fucking home, that woman with the seven-month-old baby, he murdered her in Philly. For no reason, the other nigga that killed the woman in front of the two five-year-olds, nigga locked them niggas the fuck up. I don't yes. go by those rules. Those rules that niggas was raised by. Right. I am a villager. I'm a revolutionary. Right. Not an ignorant nigga no more. I realize that if the men in the community ain't going to protect the community, that the police got to do it. But that's neither here or there because the reality of it is 
Let's keep it all the way funky, China. You know Little, you and Little been talking. In the streets, Little will tell you, Homeboy can't fuck with me in the streets. He can't. I'm undefeated. In the streets, when I was in the streets, I'm undefeated in the motherfucking streets. The problem with these bitch niggas is they see me on YouTube and they think I'm just a YouTube nigga. But scratch that. I don't want to prove to this bum ass nigga that I'm tough because the reality of it is only broke niggas want to be tough. Only broke niggas want to be tough, son. Only broke niggas want to be tough. I, I, I got what you work. You got to go to work tomorrow. What you going to work for, I got sitting in my fucking pocket. You understand? Like, only broke niggas want to talk beef and street politics. Jay-Z, you would never catch Jay-Z having a conversation about this bum shit. When a nigga sit down, we supposed to be sitting down trying to figure out how by next year all of us can be millionaires. Not who the fuck is tough. We supposed to be figuring out how to bridge the gap between the homies in jail and the streets so that the rules, the ones that come home from jail can be disciplined and come home to some fucking money and not have to run in the streets and be getting beat up inside motherfucking Arab stores and go to jail for robberies. Corny shit. There is no discipline. Niggas are supposed to be moving militant, not ignorant. The problem with the homies is when you look at the homies, you don't see that elevation. You don't see, like, in, in life, Yo. every level Listen, is a new all yo, all that undefeated Every shit, I'm undefeated. Like, so listen, all that action, mute man, this nigga. Me, undefeated. So mute this I, nigga. The, the funny mute thing is, nigga. you came on here, Liddy, to talk about one thing about your little homie that he disrespected in the video. Do you want to yeah. talk to him about that? Because he's right there. Do you want to tell? But you you want to discuss that with him? Tell him he's yeah, right because it don't. Um, um, that's the listen, subject. I don't want to listen. The I don't homie. give a fuck if his mother. His mother, his brother, my address is on the internet, nigga. Anybody that feels like I disrespect it, why make a video when you can just roll up on me? Stop hey, talking. I saw it. I saw it. May I interject? I to to you, May I interject, I saw it real quick? Let's mic. not take it to mic. somewhere else, right? See, here you go, here you go, here go. Hold on. Go. Hold on, baby. Go. Hold on. Hold on. I can talk Liddy, one person. Liddy. One person. Let's just, one let's one just on, like, let's not yo. take it to a whole nother level, right? Hold on. Hold on. One person. Can I talk? Hey, yo, Solid D, this is what I'm talking about. He talks that gangster shit, pull up, pop up, and then the nigga pop up, and now he got a right to call police. That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling I, me. I, I, I don't you think... You call the police or somebody? Listen, I, no, that's, I don't that's think, not what I'm telling you. I, that's brothers, not what I'm I don't you. think y'all should be I'm going right. into a whole nother right. topic. The topic was right. you didn't like how he put the little boy on display, right? Because you said that Hassan didn't wasn't knowledgeable enough to even speak on the young man, right? That was your first that was your what first thing boy? that you wanted to bring up, right? The little Who's boy the little in boy? your video, the, the young you man in your video when when Jimmy was showing he was outside and you made an example of the young man stating that that could be your son and this is what when, you was using he's it a as doja. a talking point. He said he's a doja. Okay, well, I don't know. I didn't. Right. I didn't hear all that about I no just, Doja. I, just I heard him say. I heard him say that to to him from looking on the outside looking in, he was a throwaway. Right, right. now, this right. man is on the platform. He did not like what you said because he knows the young man personally, and what he said was he's not a throwaway. That he's related to Jimmy. Right. So now let's like let's disagree to disagree. Let's not take it to a whole nother place where two black men. Right. Two men, period. Who's the sister, the color. Who's the sister talking? So fuck the color. That's this Avid Chatter. Right? Because it's going to go, it's it's gonna go somewhere Chatter. extra. Avid now y'all having Avid a sword Avid fight Avid about Avid. my Avid. dick Avid. is bigger Avid. than yours. Avid. 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 Hold on, Avid. You talking with... Avid, you talking... I respect you talking, but you got to listen as well. We trying to talk with you and, and, and listen oh. to you at the same time. Okay. Now, now, Hassan Campbell asks, who were you? Oh, I did. Yeah. Oh, I'm avid chatter. You, you don't, you don't be hearing me up here all the time, Hassan. Huh, like yeah. I asked no, you the I, other I, day. I, I, just found out out your I just found out that China had a channel like yesterday on uh, YouTube. I didn't oh, even know. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, I was the one who asked you the last time when you was on the panel. Do you think the theatrics helps us or whatever? And you explained to me that it grabs the people that you're trying to get. So that was the end of what I had to say about you from there. I respected that and I moved forward. So like to like I'm just I'm seeing you two men, right, going to a whole nother level. He's saying one thing and I just don't want you guys to be 
about to be like, well, you could come here and you could go there. It's no need for the sword fight. You understand what I'm saying? You have a family, Hassan. You outside and you doing what you need to do to provide for your family, right? So don't, I, I just don't, I don't want y'all to get to a point where y'all, y'all calling each other, come here, They're come here. They both got family. It's, yeah. Listen, you got five sons. Listen, listen, my whole thing is like this, right? I came here to show China and his platform some love and, and, and to help this brother to move to the next level on this platform. But do say I don't get back. Once I seen the brother was live, I, I tuned in and I hear Scrams talking or whatever the case may be. I personally, and, and I'm, I'm going to keep it 100, like I don't care about him. He's nobody. He's irrelevant. What I care about is the topic. Here's the topic. Okay. I don't even want to, I don't even want to address him or what he has to say because he's nobody to me. He's irrelevant okay. to me. I don't care about somebody calling me a rat because I never ratted on anybody. I don't call the police. So, yeah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, all this, I'm not this talking. Shit. Shut the nigga up. Listen, you finna yo, let this, him. All, yo, 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 he Lama, talking too much. All Lama, this, yo, yo, you gotta let, Lama, you gotta let him talk. You can't just talk over people. This is YouTube. This ain't Instagram, homie. Relax. You're going to be able to talk what you want to talk. Matter of fact, Go you know ahead. what we do, China? What, what we're doing is, right, because what I feel like personally, like, everybody's not even worth my energy. The next time you go live and you ain't got this dude up here, because I'm not like, what I'm not going to do is, he's not bringing no value. He's not even going to bring, like, no nobody's going to play this based off of him even being in this chat room. They're going to press play because they see me, him, not, not him. So I'm not even going to waste my time like going back and forth, I'm trying to help this platform. He's he he shouldn't even be here. He should go back over to Instagram or, or just sit in the background and and, and 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 thank God that he's blessed with a brother that that's actually even you know what I mean in the same room with him. Because I don't want to be in a room with a nigga like him with that kind of conversation. I'm a little too old to be sitting up there basing my conversation on who ratted and who didn't rat. My thing is, how could I elevate the niggas around me so we all could be eating the same way? When I put myself on this platform, I'm trying to help you to eat the way that I'm eating. What he's trying to do is take away from that. You're not, you're like, you're like, you, you a nine to five nigga, and you're never going to amount to be more than that. So what you got to do is stay in your lane and let us brothers that's trying to be entrepreneurs, not to say it's anything wrong for, with a nine to five, but this platform has the potential to take you to your next level if you play your cards right. I don't have time to be playing with dudes with, with dudes like him. The rules of the street right. is for when you're playing in the streets. That's right. That's the fact. The number one rule in, in, in the streets is that there is no rules anymore. Right. Anytime yeah. dudes can sit up there and agree with Rock Nation having a goddamn a, 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 a DEA agent working there that took down a rat rabble that took down two cartels. Anytime that you can agree with that, anytime I'm going at it with Styles P because He's actually on stage with who? Freaky Ziki, Jim Jones. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and even when it come down to Mano, everybody talk about the paperwork on Mano for Pretty Black. Let's get into that, Hassan. Let's get, let, let's get into that for a second. I need more clarity on that. Okay, what's her name? Desiree? You, you, that's who you're discussing, right? Yes, Desiree that's for, okay. correct. Now, what is your beef as a civilian man? Because I don't want... I don't want the audience to be confused. You are a civilian man. What What is your beef with her being an informant have to do? Why are you concerned at all? All right. One thing you keep forgetting, right, is that I come from the streets. Oh, my God. And I was raised. Lady. And I was raised, right? I was raised <laughs> listening to my big brother, Jigga. What he say? You always gonna be a snitch, minus the boss, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All his lyrics went against fucking with a rat. All of his lyrics is what he taught us growing up under hip hop, mm -hmm. just like with the locks. What they taught us, D Block representing the root, the D Block. This is D Block, right? Mm -hmm. Fact. But then when me and Styles P had a conversation on the phone when he called me, he basically said the rules are different Thank now you. because. Like it's just corporate. So when you get into the corporate world, none of those rules apply anymore. So my whole thing is, it's like it's like you having somebody, right, that's supposed to be a leader, 
Then you find out your leader ain't everybody, everything that he taught you that he was. So now you look at it sideways. Understand something, right? When I say I'm a civilian, that doesn't mean you won't catch me outside airing a nigga out if he crossed my line in my path. Right. You, you feel me? But what I don't, what I, what I try to promote and what I speak out, uh, uh, speak out about ain't about streets and street rules. It's about elevating our people and getting caught up and getting off of that nigga mentality. Right, right. I don't even want to be around a nigga that's talking about nigga mentality shit. I guarantee you, if you walk through the room with Jay Z and this conversation came up, right. with these niggas and the shit that this nigga talking about, you'll never come back in the room with him again. And that's my whole thing. I don't want to be in a room with a nigga that can't elevate his mind. He's still stuck on street shit. Okay. I, I did that shit for the first like how many years out of my life. Now I'm trying to move physically, mentally, spiritually, financially to the next level. My main objective is to make sure I get back to village and hire my children. I don't give a fuck about who's tough or who's not. But what I do give a fuck about my problem with Jim Jones, like I said before, is he is a billboard for these children. Right. He's a senior citizen, a dude that's creeping up on 50 years old like myself, that don't know how to carry and conduct itself like accordingly. Our children don't have nothing to look up to. That's why the streets is in a frenzy right now. I'm not trying to uphold the street code. I'm not trying to uphold the, 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 the code the, 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 the code of, 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 of OG Mac, a nigga that ratted on his own people. Hey, hey, the, rules what, what? Have, the, rules, the rules have to be changed and upgraded in the UBN and everything when it comes to us as a people. I don't diss the homies. I diss the ones that ain't moving right. Uh, That's what okay. I said before. And, 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 and others used to say it back in the early 90s when, when we first started this shit. Every homie is not my homie. Hassan, homie hold on one second. Homie. One second, Hassan. Because I understand and I appreciate, uh, trust me, I appreciate you even being here to help out 050 right. movement. I, uh, but I want to make this a real show, so I want to give Liddy. Don't leave. I want to give Liddy five minutes now. Liddy, before I let you in, who's Liddy? Right. He's Liddy, the, the the guy you was going, you was you was talking to. I don't want to talk to him. You don't want to. This talk what you, to you don't understand, right? I don't have nothing. I'm checking. Once you believe, he could talk to the audience. Okay. He will never get my energy. I don't want to talk to that nigga. If me and him have a problem, my address is on the internet. Handle your business or make videos. I don't want to talk to the nigga. There's no reason to talk to him. All Bottom right. line Liddy, to it is, he Liddy, hold something. tight. We'll give he you. Threw, we'll listen, give you he threw later. something out there, right? And he called me a rat. Okay. Where is the paperwork? There's no paperwork. I, we a nigga it. on my level. A right. nigga on my level. No, if, listen. I rat, if I rat it on somebody, a nigga on my level is gonna come and say, "Yo, he told on me on X Y Z case." The streets don't never speak my name like that. The streets you got Lord Jamar and all these other rap or rappers that bounce for me already. And now you got no frame niggas yo, that nobody time, even knows yo, honey, coming up here just yo, talking. The only thing time I've seen, all you've been talking is your old ass. All you've been talking about all this. Liddy. All you've been talking about. Liddy. This, Why you disrespect him for? Just say what like, you got to say. what you got to say. Like, Listen, you want to so be. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. But he ain't going to come up here and disrespect me. We, we not going to be, we, we going to get something straight. Wait, wait, wait. We gonna get something straight. He not gonna come up here and disrespect me like I'm some little ass kid. Number one. Okay, number one. Number, number two, two. All that pull up like stop, homie. Like you really not about that. Like, like, like for real. Okay. You know what I'm saying you said you not China. in that street shit. Stop it. You, All right. Look, I've been to jail for more than three times. You think you won't be the fourth? I will air your punk ass out. Who the fuck you think you talking China. to? Yo, I, yo, Liddy, you Liddy, me, call back I'm later, so, bro. Call back crazy. later. I hate crazy. talking to suckers. Look at this nigga. Look at him. Why would y'all even put this face on your platform? Look at him. He's not saying nothing, China. He Look got, at him. He, he's not saying anything. Nigga, get your money up and fix your cabinets. That's what you do. <laughs> the cabinets in the background fucked up, son. Upgrade your house, man. That's what you do. Matter of fact, being that you're on camera, walk through your house. Let me see the inside of your house, bitch, nigga. My dog costs more than your whole apartment. Fuck is you talking about? I got dogs that cost more than your whole house. Don't fucking talk to me, you broke-ass nigga. You look bad, man. Look at your cabinets, man. Look at your cabinets, man. <laughs> look right, at your cabinets. Good. You want to see my cabinets? 
Fuck you sit here, time out. Hold on, nigga. Like I like, right, come you on, gonna man. Sit here, time out, time out. You gonna sit here, tell me, don't come up here and be disrespectful. No, it's the you Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me, go. Let, me let, let me say one thing. It's your delivery. I'm not taking no sides. I told you when you first when you asked me to pull up, I said I'm allowed you to pull up, but be professional. This ain't Instagram. Soon as you pulled up. You came at him a certain way, so he have the right to feel his way. The all right, first, all right, the first way I'm in that. But I just ahead. wanted you to say your beef. And every time just I tell you to talk, beef. you talk get up about, there and you disrespect him right away. Yeah, you you yeah, said your about, man. Talk about your talk little about man. Your man. Talk about him. Not fuck you your little man. personally issue. Fuck your little man and fuck you too. How about that? And you go tell him I fuck you and your yo, little yo, man. Yo, 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 but meanwhile, Simple. I can't come fuck up you and your little man. And disrespect this nigga that got fucked in the butt. It's, it's bad now, real? man. So, you so, for Liddy, real? so, Liddy, so, Liddy has to call back now because her son disrespected right, him. We gonna so, leave him. So, we gonna so, leave it alone. Liddy, hey, come yo, back yo. later. Come back later, Liddy. Hey, yo, Grim, get... this is what you doing for this faggot nigga but, right here? I'm not, listen. He has to leave the room, bro. The thing is, wait, wait, be quiet. The thing is, I told you before this, you got to be professional. This ain't the streets right here. You got to separate the streets from no, business. From said, no, time out, time out. no it wasn't. No, no, shit. no, it wasn't. Listen, it wasn't about Yo. you. The, this incident wasn't supposed to be about you. It was supposed to be you asking him or trying to figure out why he spoke the way he did about your man. That's it. It wasn't supposed, it wasn't supposed to be about you telling him the way how you feel about him. It's a lot of motherfuckers feel a way about him. But it, it it wasn't for you to do that. You know that. We spoke about that. Listen, he came up here with that bird shit. Listen, I'm speaking how it is now, man. No, he no. took a real street, man. But you said, listen, like you see, see, look, look what you said. He's talking real street. This ain't the streets. This ain't streets. We on the internet right now. You see the difference now. If all right. you, now, I if you want no the street shit, he came listen, up with all that street shit. Listen, if you wanted a question, only thing you could have asked, I saw. Why did you feel or say what you said? Simple. That's it. Simple. That's it. Simple, like a man. That's it. Simple. Why you know did what? you say that? That's it. I don't it. Even understand why he would even have to ask me the way Jim Jones, right? The way Jim Jones displayed that boy, that man in that video, that young boy. He threw him out there like he was a doja. That's how he put him out there. That's his he talk. Him, he popped up in the video. He ain't put him out there. He popped the up way, in the video. The way he, he came off in that face. video. You came out your mouth not knowing who he right, was. Lady, and lady. Call him a doja I don't give a fuck about who he is. Doja. So at I the said. end of the day, you got to watch your mouth on, on, on anybody you speak about. Simple. I don't have to watch my motherfucking mouth because I'm not scared, nigga. Why you think I call out right. giants? I don't call out weak niggas. I call out giants because I fucking get busy, nigga. Yeah, and I was and fuck then you, you say, up. Oh, come on, guys. It's not even that serious. It's just, it's just one opinion. It's just one opinion. All right. Come on, man. Come on. Stop, y'all. Stop. It's the holidays, right? First of all, we're supposed to be thankful. We right, supposed to be gonna, thankful for what we gonna, have, all right? And the conversation, like, is going to skew. Like, once again, y'all pulling out the swords. My dick is bigger than yours. No, what and it I is, hit right, harder than you. Come on. The nigga on. on the internet telling it's niggas. It's not even worth it. The it's not worth niggas, it because listen, Hassan, at the listen, end of the day, listen, right? Listen, no, hold on. Listen, oh the nigga God, telling people that I'm a rat. The nigga sitting up there telling people that I'm a rat. He on the air telling people he don't even know me, and he sitting up there slandering my character calling me a fucking rat uh -huh. and, I, and i'm not saying and nothing against thing, you coming up here thing, to defend your my, name my and thing. yourself i'm not i'm not let me talk yo peace peace I to am, the baby, let me peace and blessings to the panel let her son talk let him talk damn what's wrong with that wasn't me no there's so much knowledge to be given but the problem is is that niggas keep going back to gutter shit well, if you if, if 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 you keep your conversation in the gutter, there's billions of people that you're not gonna reach to. That dumb nigga, ain't nobody bringing him in front of a classroom. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna let him speak at a lecture. When you have when when, when you start and you and you building, and the only thing that nigga talking about is first of all he lying. Hold up, 
Kalel, come on, you you see me doing this? Spilling cereal everywhere. All right. So you 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 pretty much you come up here. All right, thank you, man. You come. Okay, okay, man. They gonna subscribe. Okay, man. All right, Kai. Like, can I pl can I please finish? Thank you. All right, he's gonna have animations on his channel and all the rest. That's my son talking. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, like, for one, I don't want to be in a pissing contest with a nobody nigga. You see what I'm saying? And I treat everybody mm -hmm. equal. But when your mom is in the gutter, like, I don't want to log on and niggas talk about I rat it. If somebody sat up there and robbed the old lady, I'm calling the police. So if I if I can't catch you, I'm telling the police what that nigga did it right there. See, I don't apply, I don't, I don't, I don't go by nigga rules. If you come to me I and you try to rob me or some shit like that, that's between us. We're gonna get it on. If you shoot me, all I ask is for you to come back outside so I can clap your ass back. So some street rules I do play by and some I don't. When it comes to the community, I believe in cleaning the community up. And if the real niggas or the, or, 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 or the strong niggas in the streets is not cleaning it up, then let the police do their job. That's my take. Because the life has to be balanced. When these females are getting murdered by their boyfriends and shit like that, their brothers and their family members is not stopping these niggas. And the real niggas is not stopping them. So the police have a job to do. Why is a nigga sitting up there talking about a nigga like me snitching? You ain't hear little talk about me snitching. Me and little came, there is no buts. Bottom line to it is no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disputing that, baby. If you ain't got paperwork <laughs> on a nigga, or you don't see me in, in, in indictments on two or three different indictments like Jim Jones, you can't throw a nigga name out there. <laughs> All the things I went to jail for, I went to jail by myself. I didn't go to jail for selling bricks. I went to jail for getting busy. And anybody well, see, that's this the difference, about, though. He coming up here about, with the I'm same opinions you had. But I'm not okay, I'm sorry, darling. And ahead. anybody that knows anything about homicide cases, a homicide case is the easiest case to beat. It is the easiest case yeah, to beat. No that's way. why most niggas you see beat their yeah. homicide cases and go back to jail for another one and probably blow for that. Homicide cases is the easiest cases to beat. So when a nigga sitting up there talking about, oh, how did he get out? Most niggas out in the street right now got bodies. Most older niggas got bodies that came home for bodies or whatever. But I'm not here to promote that neither. I don't understand. I got many different topics that I deal with. My topic and my, my choice of talk, talking about Jim Jones was because he sat up there and said, why? I like the block up. You like the block mm -hmm. up for what, Jim Jones? Why would you have to light the block up? You out there, y'all doing you doing music videos. Why would you have to light the block up? There's no reason to. The problem with niggas is that they don't elevate. My problem with Jim Jones is that he don't have to be in the gutter no more. He ain't fresh out of jail and he ain't broke and starving. The nigga is a millionaire coming to the hood, mm -hmm. still trying to sell niggas in the hood, the hood. When other niggas is in the hood mm -hmm. trying to get the fuck out. That's my problem with Jim Jones. Like, I can sit up there. I don't understand what the fuck is wrong with niggas. I can sit right in front of this camera right now and count $100,000 in a nigga face. So you think I ain't got soldiers out in the street? I don't promote that. I don't want to promote that. I got shooters in every borough. I would never promote that. Because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to deliver a message. The problem is, is that a lot of niggas, instead of them saying, yo, I'm really inspired by this nigga because he made something out of himself, they just got a problem. Y'all don't like what I have okay. to say. Don't fucking watch me, my nigga. Well, he Yo, said he just didn't like quick? that. Was, I think that's what that was about. He just didn't like what you was talking about the young kid because he <laughs> knew him personally. You oh, understand? Bravo, and I, I get, I in? get your whole, hey. your whole side. You have a right to defend yourself against any slander Saladin, or anybody up? assassinating so, your what, character what of who bro. you are as we'll a person. You know. Like I just, I just as as grown men, I seen it go into a whole nother level, and it's all based upon you have the right to your opinion, just like he had the right to his opinion, right? And just just because the opinions don't agree, don't need to be going into oh uh, well, you could catch me doing this because now you're you're going in, you're go you're becoming exactly what you're fighting against. Advocate. You understand what I'm saying? You're allowing him to bring you down to a whole nother level that you right, are. Thank you, Ele thank you, you have elevated yourself. 
from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Can I tap in real quick? Can yeah, I tap, tap in? Tap in, Strobe. First of yo, all, how y'all doing? Going. Happy Let's holiday. Uh, yo, 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 Strobe. Easy, easy, easy. Yo, how y'all doing, man? What's yeah, up, man? Yeah, I want, doing? I want, how you I want doing? to say how what doing up to Disco? Disco. I want to say what's up to Disco. I want to say what's up to Strobe. Um, how you doing, Disco? What's up, bro? Yo, what's the what's the vibe? Oh, but listen, I got some because I'm 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 a real fucking lobby boy. I'm still in the gutter. This is the broke pain I'm talking about. I ain't rich, but I've been through a lot of shit too. So I want to get this off my chest though. And this ain't got nothing to do with the, the issue that I was just talking about. That's some other shit. I you know you're dealing with, but I really want to talk to this nigga Wap man on some G shit. And this ain't no stolen shit. This is some G shit because it's something that he said in interview. With this act, nigga, that really rubbed me wrong, man. When talking about Tupac, the side of Chicago, man. And, and, and I'm going to speak on this, man, because I really, really look at Tupac as a, a, a prophet to me more than anything. Because I grew up differently. I'm 42. And I did 27 years in jail. Like he said, the murder. Uh, we know my, my niggas know my name. Niggas know what's up. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. To promote this man got raped in jail, that's some sucker shit. And I'm going to tell you why that's some sucker shit. Because that could never happen. He a West Coast nigga. You never been in the New York State prison system. That could never fucking happen at all. So for you to have a, a problem with, with Tupac and trying to dig him back up from the grave and make him look like some different type of motherfucker, you a corny nigga for that. And I got a problem with this nigga. No, I ain't got the, I ain't got the fucking bread. But I got the motherfucking rap sheet and the record, nigga. The gangster motherfuckers, too. But, like, so me and that nigga going to fight. And I'm going to tell him that's a fact. He can't pull up yeah. to the juice bar. I'm not gymming him. I'm pulling the fuck up. Straight up. Because I want to fight him for this, honestly. And I'm buck 50 soaking wet. I got busy in every yard. And not a nigga in any prison system. See, like San Quentin and Alcatraz, we got Clinton and Attica. I control them both, nigga. So that's the difference between New York State prison system and that shit over there. Whack, I've been in this shit too, nigga. But I'm going to tell you this. Let's get back to this. For you to promote this nigga got raped and fucking Clinton, APPU, you a lying motherfucker. Because if you don't know, let me break this down to you. That's a very sensitive unit in Danamora, Clinton, New York, if you don't know. A uh, high bad. level of celebrity gets you there, which is shine. He did his time there for the puff shit, which is true life. Who just came home from that? I saw him in 012 on a visit one day. That's what I'm trying to tell this nigga. And that's what the fuck you know, China. You've been in the system. That's APPU. And Fat Cat, the nigga from Queens with Pappy Mason is in there right now. He ain't in the fucking feds. He in APPU. Where Tupac was that? They whole movement get fucking documented and the jail gets shut down when they move. So anything going through that, and Sean Poe and all of them can verify that. True life and them. That can't happen. So for you to promote that with any other fucking state or anywhere else, not New York State. And you doing it to a real nigga. Tupac and shot fucking cops. He done beat the fucking views, brothers. Because they ain't let him play old dog, nigga. That nigga family is a line of Black Panthers. I was with Black Panthers, nigga. The Chicagas. The side of Chicago's who got asylum in Cuba, who are Phoenix, they helped blacks escape. They didn't do the Black Lives Matter sucker shit. When they killed the person back in the days, the Panther called them and killed the police. That's what that nigga family is about. Don't dig him up from the fucking grave and make him look like the nigga he ain't. Because he fucked all the baddest bitches. Will Smith bitch was his bitch. Simple. That's a fact. <laughs> Down to tell Versace, that Versace shit you niggas is winning and, 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 and suck dick for. He fucked that bitch. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So for you, whack, you a whack nigga. I see that nigga. And he 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 rigged that death row shit up because he felt betrayed it. So he went to the West Coast, nigga. And he repped the West Coast because California you, know how to party, nigga. And he showed nigga style. Tattoos wasn't born before Tupac. Style, Chris Styles, popping. Jay Z and Nas and them look up to that nigga. The whole industry, X50 and Eminem, who they look up to. He never got fucking raped in no system. And that bitch lied on him about the rape. Yo, yo, the yo, man disco. was hurt. Yo, disco. Yo, disco. Yo. We all know, you know. I talked to Wax hand there, but you know. Well, you need to tell that nigga 
Don't promote that shit. I'm a real fucking gangster. Tell him I'm not a troller. He can ask fucking Takashi who the fuck I am. Because I used to talk to that little nigga before he got snatched the fuck up. Disco want the fame. I'm not no fucking nigga, bro. Disco. Disco want the fame. Disco want the fame. Let him know. That's a fact. Tell that nigga he's big. He can do all that. I get busy. Fuck that nigga. Ask the biggest nigga in the system. Buck smash from all of them. I fight, nigga. And I got busy with Buck. And I love him. And I try to... Put him down, but any nigga know me, know me, and I fought the biggest nigga. So if that nigga's a little nigga, I can fight him, nigga, and I'm a little nigga, but I'm getting that whack because you gotta fight me for two pop soul, nigga. You ain't gonna okay. play with him like that. And he got busy in life, nigga. Let's There's make no this rest. happen, China. Let's uh, make uh, this happen. Yo, 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 Saladin, can I can I tap in? Cause yes. I waited. Go ahead, yes, yes, yes. Patiently, yes. right? Yo, show, show. And I'm a real lobby boy, cause I'm the fuck out here. And trust me, nigga, I don't right, disco. show nobody. All right, nigga. Disco. Disco, we love you. We love you. Chill for a minute. Go ahead. Yo, I'm, I'm going to say this. What up? My name's Strobe. <laughs> My name's Strobe Light. Salute to the panel. Salute to everybody in the chat, salute. right? It's Thanksgiving salute. Eve, right? That's right. right? So um, I would like to see right. y'all brothers uh, kind of perpetuate a little bit more of the positivity side, right? A lot of people locked up for Thanksgiving. That's a lot of people right. are not here. That's to right. be with That's us for Thanksgiving. That's what it's okay, about. so hold on, I had to hold on, I had to tap in because I was very um bothered by the fact that you have a guest on your show, bro. And it seemed like outlandishly that the brother was getting disrespected, even though that they was going back and forth, they was bantering. Don't let nobody disrespect anybody that comes to your show that brings enlightenment to my brother. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying that because. I wasn't even going to step up on here today. I was going to relax. I was going to pay attention to the show. Who, is, who disrespected who, who though, disrespect who? Who, yeah. who disrespected who? Because they but both disrespected each other, yeah, and, yeah. and they he both is. grown men. So Basically. And, and, and this is what happened. Hold on. Let me, because let me, Hassan let me finish. has more let me finish. value, I gave him a little bit. Listen, listen, listen. Let me explain can it. I, can, I, me, can I wait, finish? Give me one minute. Give me one minute. See, dudes got to get... I don't care about getting money from this platform. Everybody know I got money. I'm not worrying about it. I, I just don't show off and do all the other shit. This platform is for us to talk. Yeah, we, we all brothers. We going to have our, our disagreements. But I'm not going to stop another grown man from speaking his mind. Now, if it get too, if it get too crazy, I know when to put my input in. Hassan is a grown man. He, if a nigga come anyway, if if, if he feel he but China, but China still, listen, China, go, we talked on, about this on, yesterday. I see on, what he's saying though, China. Sometimes, listen, listen. like he said, I, I, I didn't even get a chance. Let, 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 let me explain on, because you can't let the strangers I, I, just I come just up here and start so give them a this, line by home. Thank you, Disco. This is what I'm saying. The only thing I'm saying. Hold on, China. Can I finish talking? Can I tell? This is 050. This ain't anybody. I just got cut off, my brother. Give me a second. Let me talk. Cocky. Relax. Relax, please. Relax. Like I was saying, that's a grown ass man. If he feel he being disrespected, he opened his mouth up like he did. You know what I'm saying? I'm all because I am controlling this. It doesn't mean that I'm gonna talk up for him or I'm gonna shut another nigga down. At the end of the street, at the end of the day, that's one of my homies. That's a brim. Hassan is Hassan is people through the internet. I'm not going to get in the middle of that. You understand what I'm saying? The same way I let Hassan speak is the same way I'm going to let the hat speak. That's the way it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to choose sides of this. Even if even if he wasn't hat, even if he was something else, I'm going to let both of them is grown ass men. But I know, listen, ain't nobody could throw punches at each other through this. Who could throw punches at each other through this? On Instagram, I can't hit nobody on here. Hey, China, only thing that I was saying, my brother, I'm not telling you to stand in nobody's way. I'm not telling you to, uh, only thing I'm saying is, your panel for the last couple of shows have been influential and All it right. has been informative. Now, listen, That's now, the only listen. thing I'm saying. Hold on, listen, now, let me listen. finish. Sometimes... Sometimes the panel ain't gonna be informed. Right. I'm no, not a okay, nigga. I get I'm that not part. a nigga. Listen, everybody know I'm with the shit. Homie. Right. I'm it's with the shit. shit. Come on, man. I'm a gangster. I'm with the shit. Right. I'm the conscious I nigga. I, not I him. Yeah, I didn't get where I'm, where I'm at for saying peace, brother. I'm being honest. 
I didn't get where I'm at for saying peace, brother. I got where I'm at for saying fuck them niggas. Fuck this nigga. Fuck that nigga. Flavor Flav, Flav and Chuck you know D, man. Flavor Flav, Flav and Chuck D. Listen, listen, but at the end of the day, I know where I know where I'm trying to take it. That's why I appreciate good brothers like Hassan to pull up and give us knowledge. There's a lot of motherfuckers who dislike Hassan. A lot of motherfuckers tell me, why you put Hassan on this? Why you do that? Nah. I mess with Hassan through other shit. You know what I'm saying? Through Instagram. He supports me. I don't care what happened or what's going on as a man. He supported me. I support him. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just it. I'm going to give him his respect as a man. Now, if a person come up here and try to argue with him, I'm going to stay out of that. He's a grown He know how to defend himself. All I'm saying is, when you have somebody come to your platform that's a guest, they shouldn't be disrespected, you period, or something? go back to You want to know something? You want to know something? I'm a gangster. All guesses ain't built for this shit. It's probably a guest who's going to pull up, and I'm going to tell them. If you look at a couple of shows, it was people who pulled up, and I said, this nigga ain't built for this shit. Get the fuck out of here. And I all I'm saying, all, listen, here. all I'm saying, listen, <laughs> all I'm saying is, I'm talking about, listen, listen, shit. listen. It's about the positivity listen, part. Listen, now, listen. listen, listen. Oh, that's the only thing I'm saying, positive. homie. I'm listen, not saying nothing day, crazy. Listen, listen, I ain't saying brother, nothing crazy, homie. Brother, this is what I'm saying. Every day ain't a positive day. Right. It's you, a balance, you know what? Bro. It's, it's a balance. It's a it's balance. A balance. Every day, it's a balance. Every day ain't but let me you tell you something. Negative. That, you that's have like negative. inviting somebody into your household. You're gonna listen, keep. Listen. You're gonna keep things at no. least the volume down. That's the only thing I'm saying. I'm not saying you. You act like I'm saying something crazy. I understand what you're saying, but this ain't my household. This is this, this is, is your channel, and, and this the way I am. Uh, this okay, you know I am? this the way so, I am. So listen, my thing is not to go back and forth with you. My thing was just to say, yo, you got a I, dope I, channel. I, I, I listen, I understand that, but how you gonna tell me how to run my channel? Let's get to nobody that. Nobody telling you. You listen, listen, man. Nobody told you how to run your channel. I just think your channel is dope. The brother stopped by as a guest, and I'm just saying, yo. Protect your channel. Protect the people right, that's on your channel. How you going to tell me to do that if I was doing this before you? You on my channel. How you going to tell me what to do on my shit? Yo, 0 oh, 5 How you going to tell talk. me? Hold on. Me and you talk. Never disrespect right, you, bro. No, nah, I'm not disrespecting you. Never disrespecting you, bro. Listen, I'm not disrespecting you. I'm talking to you as a Never. man. This how I am. But I'm saying you can That's like me being on your channel to tell you what to do. No, Ooh. I'm not telling you what to do. I was just giving them my opinion on it. I ain't never told you what to do, homie. All right. You never listen, heard me listen, say that? This is what I'm saying. If a guest pull up and he can't handle himself, you get dealt with. That's Same way if you're in prison and you walk in them yards and you can't handle yourself, you get dealt with. This, this, that's this, how yo, You act like this nigga that's was it. a church boy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you act like I just... Nigga, don't, like get it, don't, don't get it fucked up don't because we up here talking that conscious shit. Yeah, I talk the conscious shit. You talk the conscious shit. This nigga's a gangster, man. Fucking discos over here. He's a gangster, bro. That's how yeah, it is. Like, Come like, on. We balance it out. I don't we take away from what people are saying. What I'm saying is... It's the, it's the respect yo, part yo, that people do slide through on your channel. Only thing I want to ask... Listen... Only thing I'm gonna ask Hassan, do you feel any way about what happened? Well, I mean, yeah. What I what I feel what I feel is is that certain niggas is beneath me, like him. You see what I'm saying? Like right. for me, right. I elevated myself and put myself in a certain position of life where anybody I'm, I don't share my energy with just everybody. Now, don't get me that. wrong. Certain certain people, I, I love meeting new people and building with with with, with decent people. With gangsters, with whatever, but at the same time, like the the, the the communication between homeboy and me back and forth, like it just sounds like some some straight bird shit. It and it's like, yo, when you sit back, when you sit back and you replay this, and then you look at it, it's like, yo, like, ill, ill. It's like a nigga rolled around in the mob with the nigga. You see what I'm saying? I didn't come up here disrespecting the nigga. I came up here to make it plain, plain and simple. Don't sit up here and tell nobody that I'm a rat. And you ain't got no paperwork on me. Right. I've never been accused right. by anybody for ratting on anybody. The problem with niggas is when they see me on this platform, they can't understand how I got so much respect. They can't understand how, oh, well, damn, well, this nigga did go to jail three different times for three different homicides and attempted murders. When I got shot, I got locked up to the bed for shooting three people. 
Mm. So th this is the, this is the shit that I've been going through, and niggas be like, "Yo, he ain't this, he ain't that." I'm not trying to be that until until you put your hands on me. Point blank, right. period. When I come up here, I come with a message. I don't be caring about niggas talking about how they get busy and who they get. I was raised by B. Young. I went to war with Pistol Pete in them in the early '90s. Can't nobody tell me nothing about these streets, man. I done survived the streets when niggas like one thing I tell a lot of niggas that did time in jail. If niggas didn't do 10 and 20 years in jail, they wouldn't have survived the 90s. A lot of niggas could not have survived the 90s. The 90s was not like now. The caliber of niggas in the street was totally different. Totally different. And see, the difference is in my era, in my time in the 90s, like I said, I ran Bronx River. All the niggas that was out there was underneath me out in that shit. I had the whole shit on a curfew and Bronx River, <clears throat> along with Salvi, was the illest projects in New York City. Webster, Eda, Wall. I and that's ran a fact. And hey, pardon me, brother. I'm one of the niggas who ran Webster. You can ask Litbox at Lord.Kim L. Boogie. He's from my project. He definitely know the fuck out here. So I sent him in 91, 2, 3. Definitely different story than this sucker shit right now. But get ahead. My phone, my brother. Right. So, you know, my, my whole thing, my whole thing is like, okay, cool. Now, when we get strong black men together, right? The whole thing is for each time we see or we come to the table, we figure out how to elevate. Because ain't none of us in a position that we want to be in in life. Right. You see what I'm saying? And everybody don't sit at the table. Everybody, like, on some real shit in the streets, like, when I'm really, really in the streets, that nigga couldn't stand next to me outside. There's no reason for you to be around me. So why the fuck am I talking to you on the internet? That's how I be feeling about some niggas. What are you doing around me? You're not built like that. But, dude, I pull up. I, nigga, if you pulled up on me, you would die or I would die. It would be just that simple. And everybody's not built like that. But when you start accumulating things in life and you start to realize us as a village, the lost sheep, how they say the lost sheep of, the sheep of Israel, we are stolen people on stolen land. Nigga, I'm on a mission to get my land back. And if we keep letting niggas throw these decoys in front of us, we gonna find ourselves doing what, another 10 years? I just got off the phone with long off terrorists from Bronx River. Nigga got 22 years in. 22 years in. I'm talking, I, I, I be on the phone with B.O. Brother T-Mac every fucking day in the fence. Niggas is trying to get out so we can, so we got a plan. We got a plan. But if you don't plan, you plan to fail. And that's the bottom line to us. As soon as you use your anger, and you turn that gangster button on, your life is over. We living in the era of cameras. And then on top of that, we fighting nondescript niggas. The niggas we supposed to be going to war with is behind the death of Bill Gates. Motherfucker, Dr. Fauci, the nigga that created the shit that we dealing with right now, and he got, he created the problem and the solution. We are at war. These niggas is creating cartoons. Showing you in, in, in Avengers, when Thanos snapped his finger, he wipes out the fucking population. This is what they're trying to do right now. So we got to figure out, are we going to fight on a real battlefield, which is a mental one, physically, financially? Nigga, if they close the highways, where your food is coming from? This is where my mind is at. If they cut off the highways, where's the food coming at? That, that La Palma-owned volcano. I just watched the documentary on a volcano that erupted like in the early 1700s. And when the, when the lava hit the water, it caused the tsunami that wiped out damn near half America. So my whole thing, we, we got so many threats on, on a higher level right now, we can't keep falling into this, this stupid nigga shit. A lot of these celebrities and that fucking own, and, 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 and that, 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 them, them rooms, what's that shit, that old clubhouse shit? Clubhouse yeah. was created to distract us. You notice that more and more celebrities are starting to interact now because they're getting paid to do that. Celebrities have been put here to keep us fucking stupid. I always tell people during the days of Rome, they had the gladiators fighting in the arena so that they could control the world and they could rule the politics while you, you, you entertain with the sports. Right now is what season? Basketball season, boxing season, football season, all types of seasons. But the season for war? War's upon us. Your food is poison. The air that you breathe got chemtrail in it. The water you drinking out the faucet got fluoride in it. So when do we get in this war and try to figure out how to undo the shit that they're doing to us? This is the level that I'm trying to get dudes on. I'm not trying to be sitting up here 
like measuring my dick with another nigga. Like, nah, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck we could break our real niggas. The realest niggas that we got, as well as our political leaders, the Panther Party, like how Disco just brought up or oh, Tupac and his family, Matula Shakur, Geronimo Pratt, Mumi, and all the rest of them brothers. You know, these brothers ain't never make it home. The yeah. niggas that actually fought, you know how fucked up it is that we sitting up there letting all type, like, like, like Kodak Black. A nigga got parted for rape. They let that dumb nigga out, but the niggas who fought for us <laughs> as a people is still locked the fuck up. They let a nigga out and parted him for rape. But the niggas that fought for us is still locked up. And the crazy part about it is we will never get the mentality of Mumi and Matula Shakur in them anymore or Asada Shakur. We never going to have that mentality because they keep niggas like Jim Jones in front of us in the TV. That's why I be dissing a nigga because with age comes wisdom. When you become a millionaire and you done traveled the world, there's certain things you just don't want to do no more. You don't see Jay-Z playing like that. You don't see Nas playing like that. These niggas pushed Rock him out. They pushed Queen Latifah out. They, they pushed KRS-One out. They pushed all of the legends out because they represented, or what we thought they represented, was something that was manly. And with age comes wisdom. So what they do, they keep Jim Jones in front of you. Lobby boys. Nigga, you in a mansion. You a senior citizen. Your child is a good kid. Your kid ain't walking around with a nine on his waist. <laughs> and if he do, if he do got a gun on his waist, it's registered. He's advertising the penitentiary lifestyle for our children. I don't have nothing against the homies. I have something against. That's like it's like I, I, you know, I run with some of the illest homies, and I'm not gonna mention their name because they don't want their name up here. But you don't even like the the niggas that I fuck with. They dress like grown ass men, and they dangerous. They dress like grown men and they dangerous and everybody got something to lose, not nothing to prove. Mm -hmm. I don't fuck with niggas that got something to prove. Because exactly. you a test dummy. You want everybody to know that you tough. If you really, really gangster, nigga, move your family out the projects. If you really, really gangster, get that female off of that tenement, out of that tenement building off of Section 8. It costs to live in New York. For a three bedroom, that should cost like two, twenty three, twenty five hundred dollars to three thousand dollars to cut that, take her out of that program. Nigga, move your mother out the hood. Make some boss moves. I don't want to hear how a nigga talk. You talk on camera for what? You know what made me let Bronx River go? I stopped fucking with Bronx River when they put those fucking cameras up. When the first came, when they put them cameras up, and everybody went to jail. I knew what time it was. I said, I'm, I'm done. The money that I was getting, please, I ain't going to even get into that. When they put those cameras up, I left it alone. Because I know what time it is. You got to learn how to move in the jungle, man. These people spending billions of dollars to infiltrate, to infiltrate the streets. They just mm. sat up and admitted that they gave over $500 million That's right. in the streets to pay niggas That's to right. commit crimes. Do so you know what that means? Yep. Is niggas comprehending? Do you know what that means? So everything gets infiltrated. All these niggas that's running around acting like activists, gang members, these niggas is deep state. There you go. There they you deep go. state. So oh. now we got to move like Harriet Tubman. This is the Underground Railroad. We are trying to survive. How are we going to survive them and us at the same time? Clean house. We can't survive. We, we, we can't fight two wars. It's like when you watch Spartacus. Any of y'all ever watch Spartacus? Mm -hmm. If you watch Spartacus, man, go watch that shit. Yeah. When, 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 when Spartacus and Christus separated, right? They separated. They had to fight two different wars by themselves. And Spartacus didn't want to get caught in between two armies, which he did, which caused them niggas their life. Right now, we got mad different armies fighting with us, man. People don't even understand what we're facing right now when we talk about China. China owns America. They're That's about right. to take over. That's World right. War Three is coming. That's right. When the shit hit the fan, how would you be able to feed your family when you're living in tenement buildings? When they cut the highways off because of World War Three, because of an earthquake, because of tsunami, because of whatever it is, because they have a plan, something is coming. There's a reason why they're giving out that that they're giving out that 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 that, that yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know. There's yeah. a reason. Mm -hmm. So now we need to figure out how to maneuver. Mm -hmm. When they close the highways, where will you be at? Where will we be at? 
That's the bottom line to it. All this other shit that niggas is talking about, I don't give a fuck about a bum nigga who snitched. What I do give a fuck about is an informant like Jim Jones. We could talk about a rat like him because he's somebody that's in the public eye. I don't give a fuck about little nigga snitching. It's part of the game. You get down with the wrong nigga, he gonna tell. Matter of fact, the the, the, the niggas that created the game, like Nicky Barnes, he created these rules to protect him. And then when shit hit the fan and niggas start fucking his girl, what did he do? He told. Frank, <laughs> he created the most gangsters, the gangster, fat cat, the most gangster niggas mm -hmm. knew you if you tell, if he thought he was gonna tell on you, but watch you accumulate all the crime. And then when it was time for, do, for them to do their bit, they told. It's the, that's the bottom line. In, in the streets, the, the, the number one rule, there is no rule. Bottom line to it. That's a fact. There's no so I, just got, I got a question real quick. You see how the dynamics change once the brother got to be informal about some things? So I'm, I'm trying to figure out between Saladin and 050, how did that go over your head when the brother is actually giving informal situations now? I, and it kind of simmered down on a temperature. You kind of see what I'm saying now? Yeah, how I see it. Listen. You got to let the brother talk. It's always going to be a heated uh, a heated conversation. And it's going gonna, it gonna to die down. Hold, hold up. That's Stroke. Stroke. How many people in the building, Stroke? Yeah, let's get to that. How many people in the building? We got 200. You think they came here to hear Jesus Christ talk? They did it. They heard that some shit was going down in the room, and they rushed over here. You got to understand the game. That's all I'm saying, Stroke. So we let it go a little. This is, this is the game, bro. This is what's going on. We we fully understand what the fuck is going on, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. I think I'm yeah, fully aware. I'm that. I think I'm I think saying. I'm more intelligent to fully aware to understand what the game looked like. Only thing I was saying was, you know, when you have people that's trying to come to the page to give some enlightenment on some things, you know, let it be. All the other stuff could fall back on that. We need yeah. to be exercising all, the right all to all run right, this. I, I, I listen. I listen. Did you read the content of this of of of, of, of this video of this podcast? China, you sent it podcast? to me. You sent it to all me, right. so I, right, I, so I firmly you understand. It was supposed to be with Liddy talking about mm -hmm. the uh the guy. That's it. Yes, sir. Now yes, sir. he took it somewhere else that caught Hassan attention. Hassan pulled up. Nobody called Hassan. Right. He did. He did what real right niggas do. I see my name. I hear a motherfucker talking about me. I'm pulling up. It got a little friction. Mm -hmm. We found out that Liddy, the homie, don't know how to conduct a real conversation. With you know what I'm saying, so he had to be removed. That's exactly like, my point, China. That's it. Some people just don't know how to articulate themselves. He said, but we found you out. You know something, but you want to know something? Don't. Yeah. There's people on here. Who want to see a person who don't know how to put, who don't know how to talk, who don't? It's people up here for that. They trying. It's people up here for that. It, it, they don't want to hear. They don't want to hear just Hassan talking about bettering shit. They want to hear a crazy motherfucker come up here and say, "Fuck you, Hassan." You <laughs> well, go man. get disco. Disco, man. disco, the man for it. Nah, go nah, get disco. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, you know what though? The story I wasn't like the way, about disco. I like the way Disco talked though. You know what? I'd rather argue with a brother like Disco than that other lady. Because Disco, I like the way he articulated himself. Yeah. You know, yeah, I like that. Right. And Saladin, I said that. But, but Hassan, I, 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 if everybody knows this, the other, the other nigga is a hooked on phonics nigga. You know what I mean? He's a hooked on, like, it's like, yo, for, for me, let me tell you something, man. One thing I love about my platform. Is that I got the ladies there. If you keep bum niggas like him on your platform with that mentality, you ain't gonna never have the ladies. <laughs> niggas like him, you never gonna have the ladies. They're never gonna, they're never gonna stay like I like to have the ladies. I gotta like I love seeing the ladies in the room. Dudes yeah. like him is gonna chase the ladies away, man. I we don't give them so many know, chances. We did our prison time. We sit out prison time. We don't want to be in just room with just swinging dicks. We want some ladies in the house. Yo, Stro, Stro, I tried to give him, I tried to be balanced, and I even went back to him, and I said, okay, now, Liddy, give him, here's your chance. Let's communicate. And right. it was him. So Shout out I, to see, the gym I, show. I see his people's right, in the comment section, and they like, yo, let him talk. Let him talk. I said, okay, you know what? You're absolutely right. That's not fair. Liddy's a man. Hassan is a man. 
let's talk. And I know for a fact Hassan would have talked to him if he could articulate. See, this is the problem right here. We don't encourage, for so many years, we've encouraged a, a, the, the wrong definition of a real nigga, right? So a real nigga was ignorant nah, 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 and aggressive and shit like that. And we promoted that and we we rewarded that. But, there's, but that is the absolute false narrative people you have to learn how to articulate it does not make you a weak person at any time a, a black man is able to articulate himself oh he on that white boy shit oh he's a nerd because he know how to articulate himself and he and you don't so you're going to shoot him down nah so i gave lydia a couple of chances i agree with hassan i'm not hassan is a big fucking name son i gave you a shot you couldn't talk to this man i gotta cut you loose that's just straight like that I mean, until you, until you can talk by yourself. That's hey. it, Harlem. What's good? Yo, what's, what's good? Gucci? What's Gucci? Yo, listen, it's not what's about the name. All right, all right. one second, one second. Let the brother, cause he been sitting here. You got anything to ask? No, I, on or anything that's going on. I saw something, right? I I watch your podcast a lot, right? I had conversations about your podcast, but I want you to try stop doing something. You see how that person jumped on, and then shift a little bit. You conscious enough to be mindful of what the goal is from that from people similar to that. Am right. I right? You see what I'm saying? So now from the conversation I had about your podcast, you lose a little bit when you get into the back and forth with snow. So you can't argue with certain kind of people. That's established in life. When you go back and forth with somebody like that, you gotta understand you lose to certain people. You feel me? Like you said the ladies. Right. You you might lose ladies from that. And that's 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 hurting you some some kind of way. You feel me? Like you gotta be mindful of when people get on certain podcasts and everybody not everybody, a lot of people still clout chicks. With you, they clout chicks. You feel me? And once you open the door to further the conversation, knowing they clout chasing, they gonna call you everything. Don't be surprised nigga call you a homo next week. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But when it, it, it shit like that gonna occur. That once you jump back into it, you open the door to helping them. You ain't helping yourself. You feel me? Your name is already, I watch the show all the time. Your name is already stamped for your podcast. I, I'm from the Bronx, but we, we different eras. So I can't speak on your street history. I don't know. It. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I don't know. I got my own. But what I'm saying is, you open the door for that to go even further. You feel me? Who like, are you? Your name is Nate? Nah, my name ain't no Nate. Oh, 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 okay. okay. All, you got, all you gotta say is no, bro. I ain't this used to come on, bro. No, come no, on. I, no, I ain't saying Listen, this. listen, listen, listen. The I, reality of it is, man, it's is lonely thing. at the top, man. These niggas gonna be hating. They gonna say anything out their mouth. My nigga, I fucks with a song because he speaks real. But a lot of niggas can't real. take real talk, we, my nigga. The different ways where we ain't used to seeing it, but that's the way we understand it better. I, I like a nigga that talk real. I'm not disputing nothing that man's saying. You heard? You're going to get the ignorant niggas that come up here and say anything out their mouth, man. And at the end of the day, you can't stand the 050 challenge. Get your ass up off it. Right. Like that. That's Somebody why he letting them the niggas rock feet. out like that. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm not going to jump into these two niggas. These niggas grown men, bro. Yeah, like, yo, you got to know, man. At the end of the day, man, I respect the real. I respect yeah. the nigga that's talking facts. You heard? And shit he's saying about Jim Jones is facts, my nigga. This nigga has fed our people wrong shit for too long. He's 50 years old, my nigga. That's see, why I when I that. make my videos, I get a lot of slack on that nigga. I be see, killing that nigga. See, when niggas I, like Jim Jones, I agree with you, right? But I look at, he's a fucking entertainer. He's a bozo. He's a bozo. I know him personally. He's a bozo, my nigga. Yeah, I believe you. I look at him as an entertainer, one kind of thing. He gonna feed bullshit just for profits. That's how I look at him. You not no gangster to me. I don't. See, but but it's bigger than that. It's not just he's doing it for profit. Bro. You gotta understand. That's, it's, it's bigger than that. He's not. Nigga, you said Jim Jones. Jim Jones is, he's not doing it for profits no more. Hold up. I see that comment right there. I'm glad, yo. I'm glad Hassan talks about the community. But why didn't he give out turkeys at Bronx River Projects? First and foremost, for one. Who told you I didn't give out any turkeys? Mm. See, let, now, now let me show you something, right? Right? <laughs> Yo, so, so check it, right? If, if, if one of your brothers texts me and asks me, 
the cash app y'all some money for y'all rent y'all fucked up how would you feel if i would have told the whole internet that i paid your rent nah, so Jim Jones was, yeah. he see he noticed people in harlem that's struggling and you pulled the camera out and put people on camera to humiliate them the last thing i want to know is that i'm getting a free turkey from somebody that shit Straight is humiliating. That's so humiliating, I got, man. When I give and what I give people and what I do for people, when I start doing, why you think I took money out the fucking bank? Because I'm helping motherfuckers. I don't need all this fucking money on me because I'm helping niggas. But I don't tell people exactly what I'm doing. So as, as far as you saying, well, who you giving to? That, when you give blessings, right? When you when give, I'm a Muslim. I've been told this land, when you give something to somebody in private, that is between you and God, your reward comes from Allah. But when you give for the world to see, that is your reward. Your reward comes because you wanted the people to praise you. I don't want the people to praise me. I'm not hummus stunting. I'm not mm. one of them niggas that's going to sit up there and sell drugs and kill the community, then turn around and give you a turkey. What Jim Jones is doing, he sat there on that block, right? And talk about how he'll get the block lit up and put the camera on a young boy. And I'm looking like, you know what? Gangsters put in their own fucking work. I ain't see that yet. Why you show why you show the young Instagram? Boy? He said our life, he said our life is this block up physically, or, or like he used two different metaphors to let you know with the cameras or with the hammers. And my whole thing is, like I said, bottom line to it is anybody and everybody that knows Jim Jones and his history. He has never retaliated from any of the real niggas that did him dirty. He even you even at all. To him on interviews talking about how he been calling Melly to get him out of certain situations all throughout Brooklyn. This nigga ain't never put in pain himself. All he does is keep himself around niggas that's active. But then you come on the block and you turn on these cameras when the young boys are killing machines right now. The babies are looking up to us, especially Jim Jones. You got this big following, and that's how you promoting yourself as a gorilla? That's a fact. Nigga, you a grandfather. I can understand the, di the difference between a nigga like Disco coming home and wilding. Niggas are still in poverty. Niggas are still hungry. Jim Jones is rich. When you get rich, you move a different way. When you coming home from jail and you coming home to nothing, you still got that animal in you. This yeah. nigga sleeping in the best houses, the best hotels. They're coming back Condo. to the hood. Come on, being bro. A, a, a billboard. He's a, he, the most beautiful things that surround the hellfire, which is the penitentiary, is coming through these celebrities. The glitter and gold. You're watching this. You see Jim Jones? You see a fucking fraud. You see, you see like, you see, you, you look at little D-Dang from the Bronx. You look at um, KK, right? You look at them little niggas, K Flock, right? Mm -hmm. Them niggas is putting their pain, their babies. Right, right. That's the ages. They're putting their bodies that's popping I all know. over. I you know. see the bodies. Mm -hmm. You look at Jim Jones, he ain't going to hurt nobody. Nope, he's going to have somebody do it. But there's no reason to have nobody do it, nigga. You made it. Ain't too many niggas going to make it to Jim Jones level. You coming back to the hood because you're trying to use the energy of the hood. And then you using it in the wrong way, and then you thinking that you you, you giving out turkeys is gonna make it better. Nah, keep your fucking turkeys, nigga. That's how I feel. Keep that shit because you bargaining with nigga souls. Why that grown man can't show you how he raised his son? Why he don't give you a show showing you the steps that he took to turn his son into a good boy? No, Catch your school boy. and show our kids, yeah. our young boys. This image of him being this ill gangster blood when he ain't, yo, Jim Jones ain't never cut nobody in jail. Yeah, who brought him home, no, by the way? Do no, we know no, who brought him home? I'm going to keep it 100. Uh, listen, Jimmy, uh, I believe it, yeah, he was non-trade from the beginning. I'm going to keep it real. Okay, yeah, I was been, out there. I'm in from the 15th Street and Lennox Avenue on Foster Projects. I'm going to keep it 100. I grew up with the man. And he been banging, but he ain't been banging nothing out. I'm just going to keep it 100. He ain't put no motherfucking work in, man. A lot of right. niggas, they, they 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 running around, they screaming this big blood shit and big gang shit, but he's known for rapping. That's it. This nigga ain't put no work in. You see, he was running from around the rucker, right? You seen him running around the rucker. <laughs> he's not even respected in Harlem. I'm just keeping it a hundred. It is all if you're not respected in your own hood, you ain't respected nowhere. I'm just keeping it ten thousand, B. He feeds our people the wrong message, man. 
Let's call it what it is, man. He's from Tab Projects. He said he's screaming Foster. You ain't from That's here, homie. Fact. That's a fact. He, he ain't said he's screaming Foster. 115, stay alive. You ain't That's from there, fact. homie. I caught my felonies on that block. That's why I speak out against him, man. Mm. That nigga's mm. fake, man. He's fake, man. Everybody mm. around him is real niggas. Yeah, he feeding the real niggas. That's why he's able to get on and come to Harlem and do what he do. That's why he's able to do that, homie. Other than that, he's not that dude, man. Mm. I know him as Joe Mo. That's what I call him, Joe Mo. <laughs> you ain't no Jim Jones. And first of all, do anybody know who Jim Jones is? You know what he named himself after? A cult leader. Yeah. A cult leader that killed 900, almost 900 people. Had 900 people uh, commit suicide against themselves. Yeah. Thinking that he was right. God, calling himself a God. That's right. That's basically what he's doing to our people today. That's right. That's right. That's, That's right. basically what Jim Jones is doing to our people today. I don't fuck with him, bro. And I grew up side by side with this man. See, but here's the thing then. You see how you say he got all these real people around him? This is why... If you a real dude, right? If you got 20 real dudes around you, them 20 dudes post correct you. Fuck the money you listen, got. Listen, 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 listen. It don't work like that. When you no. when you in when you from poverty, all right, and you got a nigga coming back and he throwing money in your pockets, it's not about that. You start thinking the way he thinking. Period. So now you you, yo, the crazy wolves, part about wolves, this, the wolves, wolves, I don't believe right. that Jim Jones is giving anybody no money. I don't believe he giving anybody. I think they them niggas. They just feel like he's he's a way into the industry and he got money. So niggas is groupies to the dollar because of reality. All them opportunity. niggas was broke until Takashi came around. Takashi was feeding niggas. Jimmy was a feeding nobody. Yeah, yeah. Takashi was setting niggas out and Shotty was taking the money. Yes, Takashi sir. Was yes, setting, sir. Takashi was setting everybody out. Mm. Niggas was broke until Takashi came on the scene. Jimmy was getting fat while everybody was starving. That, that, that nigga stack bundles, man. When I listen to Jaja, rest in talk peace about, stack, man. When I, rest in peace to the boy, man. When I listen to Jaja break down how Stack just wanted to get out of Far Rockaway, and Jimmy talk about moving with me, like yo, you couldn't afford to pay. Like you at the height of your career, you couldn't get the nigga apartment in Jersey just to move him out of Far Rockaway. He wasn't even willing to do that for that man. Now Jimmy might spend a little couple of more dollars. You know why? Because he knows he got to keep muscle. The real niggas do not respect Jim. No. All the real niggas don't respect him. But you know what? A lot of the real niggas that got old now. True life done went to jail. He came home on some different shit trying to get over his parole. Jimmy ain't touched that man when he was in the street. He sent the kite to the homies. If you watch True Life. <laughs> you heard what he said, too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He right. said, oh, man. Nigga, you robbed, you robbed me. We ain't dead in that beef. Nigga, you robbed me. It's one yeah. thing to knuckle up. It's another thing for you to punch me in my face and take my jewelry. Yeah, he Fuck still ain't get them here, junior man. mafia niggas yet. Huh? <laughs> he still ain't find little C's yet, huh? Come on, man. Get them niggas. Get that nigga Jimmy up out of here, man. Nigga wash, bro. Keeping it 100. First of all, he's 50 years old, still screaming blood. Trying to get all the young homies to come out in Harlem, man. What's wrong with you? Something is wrong there. That would make any nigga think something is wrong with you. If you're 50 years old and you still banging blood, something is wrong. And you're not no grown man shit. Something is wrong, my G. And then them niggas gonna sit up there and bring big you like, listen, man. All right. We 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 got our gang culture, whatever the case may be, but we're not dick riding fucking LA, man. Fuck yeah. you bringing this nigga through here like he gone. Yeah, right, first, no, of all, man. first of all, this is the East Coast. Like, like, yo, like, no, New York, we had our own gangsters. He brought them through there, too. We yeah, had our that. own gangsters, Yo, man. I called Maino a sucker. You heard? I'm going to keep it 100. I called Maino a sucker. I called a lot of slack on one of my videos for that, but I meant what I said. That nigga's a sucker. Anytime you bring a, a, a figure, because I, I like to look at Big U as somebody that the kids revere, the older niggas revere, they look at him. You heard as an OG. And you can bring that nigga to New York City and all these young kids done died. And you ain't got this nigga talking about anything pertaining to these children. Thank nah, you. my nigga. You's a sucker, nigga. Hey, you had nah. to bring that nigga on a blood block to throw up crib signs. I'm and a, you niggas is 50 plus. I'm gonna say this. I agree come on, bro. Saying, right? In California, like they say big you do a lot for the youth. Yeah, but why he didn't do that in New York? I don't care about L.A. No disrespect. 
Now, now Jim Jones bringing him there, that was only just to show he fucking he know niggas and that was there. No, that, that was some, that was nothing. That was, that was a prank on shit. You feel me? That all that was a prank. Walk around the prizes with a known name. You Listen, see, when you when you back. when you don't have the fame that these niggas have, and niggas is looking at these niggas on TV all day every day, my nigga. Yeah. You need to have a positive message, especially when it's when by the time you come to New York, it's 21 kids dead under the age of 18, my nigga. Hell no, I'm not buying that. Yeah. I don't want to be a lobby boy. I don't want to be 50 years old and screaming blood. I'm gonna try to help these youth, my nigga, especially when I got that bag already. These niggas ain't got like, enough money. That's what that's telling me. me. It, you, know what you know what scares me? What these niggas don't talk about. It's like me being four, me me being forty four, right? Forty, yeah, I think forty four, forty five, one of the two. Think I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what, what scares me is if I get locked up right now, and I do a decade, what am I coming home to? <laughs> what am I coming home to? I lose everything, and this is why I be mad at these older niggas because it's like, yo. All of us is waiting for somebody that touched down that did, did over a decade or 20 years, and we waiting on niggas to come home that might not never stay, might die in jail. And then when I see these old niggas sitting up there like, yo, man, when do maturity kick in? Right, right, right. The truth right. of the matter is, most of us started getting busy at the age of 15 years old. Once you get like 26 years old, 27, it's supposed to be smooth sailing. Your, your reputation is already solidified in the streets. Yeah. I don't get with these niggas coming outside like at niggas are coming outside tough at 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're coming no, that, outside tough at 40. That, that's what happens when a nigga try to re, re reclaim something that you never had. You understand? Jimmy grew up. Look, let me tell you something, man. I was side by side with this man, man, Joe Mo. The nigga never been a gangster, my nigga. I got to keep it real. Hey, I got to ask. What do you get named Joe Mo for? I just got to ask that. That's, just, that's what they called him. That's what they called him on the block. They called nigga Joe Mo, not Jim Jones, that's my nigga. I thought you gave him that nigga. The Joe nigga Mo. named Joe Mo, my nigga. Real talk. The I'm nigga real. ain't never sell no drugs on 115 for Lennox Avenue, nigga. I'm just keeping it real. But he was shouting that shit when he came out with the game and they was promoting this blood shit. First thing you were saying, 115, stay alive, bang, bang, they do their own thing. You wasn't that, though. That shit just shocked the fuck out of me. That's when, I, that's when I went on my campaign against him. I'm just keeping it real. These niggas is 50 years old trying to reclaim what they never had. Hassan, Free what crap. have you done for your community? He's never had it. All right, well, once again, let me right, answer that question, question again, right? What I do for my community, my kids is my community, stupid. Right. If every man, right, and this is what niggas gotta understand, right? If every man took care of his household, you wouldn't have to ask somebody that's popular what the fuck do they do for their community. I got right. over got I got damn near over 20 fucking kids. I done raised just to answer your question, I raised foster kids and sent them to college. Right? Hmm. I raised foster kids and, and, and had foster kids when when with certain people I know lost their kids, I raised their kids in my house. And then I raised the kid that wasn't mine, that was a runaway. And um, raised her and put her through um, junior high school, put her through high school, and now she's in college. So when you ask me what I do to give back to the community, that's what I did. I raised children that wasn't mine, and now I'm working on my children. And see, when you got over 10 children, right? I got over 10 children that I'm trying to raise. I don't have too much more energy to do for your bastard children. What you need to do is you need to make sure you <laughs> with a man that's going to love and love to raise his children and stop asking somebody else what they do doing for the community because the reality of it is your community is your household and I got a big community that I'm taking care of. That's what's up. Yeah, what's sad is though, what's sad is though, why are niggas asking this man what he did for his community. Why y'all niggas not asking Jim Jones? Matter of fact, hold why on. you niggas no, not asking? On. Why y'all niggas no, not no, asking Maino no, no, what he did for his community? Yo, let me show you something deep real quick, right? These niggas ain't asking these niggas. Let me show you something deep, right? Let me show you my community real quick, homie. Let me show you my community, right? There is somebody that I want to help in my community, right? She's a senior citizen. She lived down the block, but she won't let me help her. She won't take no money from me. She won't let me do her yard, no nothing, because she got pride. But see, in my community, let me show you my community, right? Everybody takes out their own garbage, right? Straight Shut up. up. Everybody takes out their own garbage. In my community, you don't have to do nothing for my community. 
in my community, everybody put the kids on the school buses. Everybody got nice houses. Everybody got nice cars. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, in my salute. community, you heard? Ain't, nobody, ain't nobody in my community, ain't nobody standing on the block. Ain't nobody selling no drugs. In my community, you don't have to actually do nothing because every household take care of their community. Now, when the hood start That's learning how to take care of the community and take right. care of their responsibility, right. we right. won't have to sit up there. Niggas hey, got to take care of their own household. Woo, Haas, let me, let me jump in. I got to jump in right there. I got to jump in. Now, you, you from the Bronx. I'm from the Bronx. Well, I'm actually from Mount Vernon, but I moved to Throgs Neck. T tell you know what Throgs Neck look like, um, uh, that area right there, right, Haas? Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so you know, really, there's there's not a lot of black people in that area at all, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, all right. Cool. So I was able to get in that in that area, but here's here's my thing, people. Why do we perpetuate? Th this is what I wanted to say. I lost thought. Moving in that area, I found I moved around so many Italians and they would keep their community so good, right? So then I would have to go to the projects to see whoever I have to see. And I would complain about pissing the whole way. They said, and they would say to me, Well, you know how that's that's just how shit is. And I'm like, nah, man, why does that have to always be the answer? Why would you take pride in yeah, why can't what's stopping you from going outside with a fucking broom and dustpan and start exemplifying? Yo, I don't want this area to be like this. Then you would be looked at as a weak individual. You would be looked at as a weirdo. No, we have to start to literally clean up our own neighborhood. Like someone has to do it, and not the old person. Somebody young that's on here to say, "Yo, Hobbs, I think you're right." Word, I feel you're right, nigga. If you feel he's right. Do something about this shit. Don't just be hitting the like button on shows like this and say, yo, Haas, I think you're right. No, nigga. Put your life on the line. Show, Be the weirdo for once. Be the weirdo for once and stand up for something right. That's let me, let me capitalize on that, Saldine. Let me capitalize on that, right? No, the thing is, man, these niggas is worried about a man that takes care of his family and that blew up on YouTube. What about these fucking celebrities that's straight selling y'all poison and been getting y'all money for years? The fuck? Say something about them niggas. That's what we need to start doing. We need to start calling these rappers out that it, these activists, these so-called activists might start. So-called, so-called yeah, activists. Yeah, all these so-called activists that ain't doing nothing for our community, but they collected all this bread on you niggas. You niggas make me sick, man. I'm serious, I'm bro. I'm announcing the spray. Shorty looking good. Okay, hey, these niggas make me sick with that shit. I gotta put it back up. I gotta put it back up there. I gotta put it back up there. Shout out to her. Yeah, shout for real. Like, like, talk about we just real talk, bro. Shout like out these to niggas are calling out the real names. You heard? Cause they scared. I don't, I don't know what it is, but you niggas ain't calling out the real people that need to be called out, man. Hey, right. man. Because right. you calling out a nigga we, that we, blew up on YouTube. You niggas is haters. We got call out the nigga that been getting your pockets for years, your kids' money for years. Closet has Hassan Campbell supporters. Closet. Don't yeah, be closet. That, that, Even, that phony shit to me, yeah, man. Yeah, yo. Don't just listen to him like, yo, I ain't gonna front. He be right. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, he is man right. got a lot to bring he to the right. table. You he heard? You, Come on, bro. It's something, something that homeboy just said when he brought up my song, right? Hi, son. You said something. I don't know where it was. I was on this or your own about how my song be putting stuff out there and who he got behind him, right? No, when you Damn say stuff, I listen to it. And I, I research it. Like, I research a lot of shit. That's just how I am. So when I speak about stuff, I know what it is. When you said that, I went back and looked at several interviews in the hood or so good. Where was that? That's 100% accurate on, on the pew he got behind him. You remember talking about this Couple, uh, recently? Yeah, the, um, the, the, uh, me breaking down my son um, working for George Soros. And, you know, I mean, I ain't going to even lie. I'm tired of talking about my son. He's like, <laughs> scared point, to come outside and you know, play with you anyway. I just want to tell you that I, I, I looked into it. That's accurate. At yeah, this knows, point, everybody knows that my son is, 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 is a paid agent. He's, 
He's he's for hire. Nah, real we, shit. We nah, know that's shit. Like, Yo, yeah. oh, 050, oh, this is real talk, my nigga. Yeah, I just did this a video. Is real on him. talk, I my nigga. Pay attention video. to what you yeah. say. Pay you, attention. You know bro. what I said? I said, Yo, Mice, how dare you call out academics and six nine, and then when Hassan invited you to the mitten? Yeah, he invited him to and, the mix, and, and, nigga. And when, I was there. And when and when Wack one hundred asked you a simple question, nigga, when we see each other. If we're gonna let it go or get down, you don't want to answer the question. Yeah, yeah but he don't be a weirdo, yeah, my nigga. On, don't bro. be a weirdo. Dude, let's keep real too. This Wack, man offered them ten thousand dollars for a sit Wack, down Wack, for a debate. He Wack, offered that man ten thousand for a debate. That nigga was scared. Why one hundred trying to meet up people? Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah I ain't gonna, easy, I ain't gonna go easy, there. Easy, I ain't gonna go easy, all there, man. Topic. Yo, listen, 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 listen. Hey, excuse me. Can I ask the, can I ask the panel a question? I've been yeah, sitting back yeah. here quiet for a minute. Yeah, Donald Trump. Wanna, Go ahead. Yo, yo, yo. I want to I want us Hassan to talk about you wearing that damn Donald Trump hat. Hey, no, hey, believe it or not, I'm going to hear that. He can take the swing You can take the swing Hey, Haas, I'm going to keep it. You know what, though? I you like Donald Trump. Trump. The nigga be better in office today. Yo, you know I'm what, I'm keeping though? it real. All right, if Hassan is real as I think he's real, because I'm a real nigga. I fuck with Trump. Yeah, I'll okay. fuck with him. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Hassan okay. could give a damn who Trump fuck, who he's cussing <laughs> out. As long as his paper right, that's all I care about, bro. As long as he keep my paper right, bro. And that nigga we made everybody paper right. Yeah, he I did. ain't gonna lie. I ain't he gonna lie. gave money to the hood, he man. He ain't a politician, bro, so he ain't gonna be politically correct, bro. Yo, that nigga Trump had the hood falling. Balling, right, nigga. Well, like I was about to say. He had the hood ball. I'm right never now. mad at that man. I ain't mad at him. Right, do you yeah. think? Do you think black people in any inner city can change their environment without having politicians involved? I believe that we can change, but the problem is right. And this is where my song comes in at. This is where some of the homies that's coming home from jail that's infiltrating the movement. Everything that we're doing right now. Is being infiltrated. I want y'all to watch the video. Remember that song by Jay Z of Kanye West and Rihanna? Who's gonna run this town tonight? <laughs> now, I want y'all to watch that video when this is over. And I want y'all to watch what's depicted in the video. We are going towards, we are moving towards, or rather, we are in those times of rioting, protesting, but it's gonna get worse. Now that they neutralized all of our black leaders, they are repositioning certain people. Like you see the, the guns down, gloves up movement. You got good brothers that's being hired, but then you also have agents. So everything that we touch, there's an agent put in to neutralize. Whenever we try to move, we moving forward and we making progress, we are gonna be neutralized because we letting these people infiltrate us. If they sponsor you, they control you. Whoever mm -hmm. sponsors you, control you. The budget is coming from the enemy. So the enemy is controlling the movement. You got to understand son, right? I told everybody, Darren Sills was murdered because he was the original Black Lives Matter. Right. If Mike Sauter and Tamika Mallory was really about the people like that, they wouldn't be making Cadillac commercials and they wouldn't be sitting up there on the Grammys getting Grammy awards and performing. No. No. 